the physical body. It's the spirit. That make you say, thank God for Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, Sister Matt. We're going to bring you a microphone. Amen. Will you, will you do that, Minister Salami? I'm so glad you're here because you're young. You got them limber knees. My knees ain't so limber. God bless you, son. God bless you. Close this 
portion of our service and we're going to have preaching once again as he can handle this dinner for Jackson. From the God of Christ, Baptist Church, and Pastor of the River John Jackson, he's on vacation right now. But the work goes on, yeah, he's been on vacation for a little bit. We went down to visit some family down south, we spoke with him, and we pray that he arrived safely and he spoke with tunes and he got in safely. Praise God. Let's give God some praise. Amen.
If I may, I'm going to stop for just a moment. Uh, Sister Sally, this is our 77th church anniversary that's coming up.
And they, and they said, said, if we fall amongst, amongst the stars, stars we'll, we'll still, still be on high ground. ground. Is that right? right? So I'm going to be distributing the envelope to everybody. Everybody, everybody take the envelope. envelope. How, how you feel, feel how, how you bless, bless us, us is up to you. To get, get your friends to come and to bless us as we go forward. We're asking each person they can for $77. And if you can, whatever you have, it is appreciated from the depths of our heart because we are family. Amen. Amen. We have to do. And it's greatly appreciated. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I'm going to start in the pulpit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's give God some praise for this young man. <clears throat> Amen. All right, let somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Y'all just bear with me for a second. We have some work to do here. Today is Nate Carmichael's birthday, Elder Carmichael's birthday. And on Tuesday, it's Reverend Johnny Jackson's birthday. So we can't call both of them, but we're going to call one. Okay, so he's not answering. We'll get back to him. Excuse me? She did. Well, I don't have it. Sister Lane, I have to apologize to you. We got to get our records together. We missed it. So we're going to sing happy birthday to you belatedly. But I'll have to check our records and see why we don't have it. I don't have it on file. So we're going we're gonna to correct it. We're working on it. Thank you, Elder Van. Let's do our happy birthday. We send it out to Sister Lane.
please call me. That's okay. We'll get back to it. Come on, let's go to our congregation here for today. Holy, holy, holy.
tonight to turn on to read power on page number seven in your programs. Come on, let's move it, let's move it, let's come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Amen. This is a kick in today. As they always do. Preaching, but they've been watching. And this is not what they see a lot of things. 
would have sister to help me with these. Amen. If y'all want to sit, y'all can sit. <clears throat> Boy, y'all got to stand again. Thank you. Amen. Um, we have on this afternoon Dorothy Johnson born 1910 2008 98 years yeah. Amen Dorothy Johnson born was a teacher who became a leading mathematical engineer in the first Aerospace program with the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, NACA, and the first African American woman promoted to supervisor in the program. Vaughn was born in Kansas City, Missouri, on September 20th, 1910, to Larry and Ann Johnson. To Larry and Ann Johnson. The family moved to Morgantown, West Virginia, in 1917. In 1925, she graduated from Beecher's High School with a full academic scholarship to Wilbur Force University in Ohio. Mm -hmm. She joined Alpha Kappa Alpha Suori. They are chapter and graduated with a bachelor degree in mathematics and French in 1920. After college, Vaughn accepted a position as a math teacher at Robert Musa Morden High School in Farmville, Virginia. In 1932, she married Howard Vaughn and moved to Newport News, Virginia. Mm -hmm. The couple has six children, Anne, Mia, Leonard, Kenneth, Michael, and Donna. Mm -hmm. In 1943, Vaughn took what she thought would be a temporary position with NACA, now NASA, at the Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory in Hampton, Virginia. Mm -hmm. She was assigned to West Area Computers, a segregated group that consisted of all African-American women they were the computers. There was no such thing as computers as you understand them. The human beings were the computers. That's right. These women provided critical information to the engineers conducting aeronautical experiments by testing performance and durability for new space equipment. Noted mathematician Catherine Johnson was temporarily assigned to Warren's group while stationed at Langley. Despite working among white counterparts, the women were required to use segregated dining, bathroom, and living quarters. Born traveled back and forth daily to work using public transportation. Born mm -hmm. was appointed active supervisor of the program in 1949 after the death of her manager and thus become, become the first African American woman to be promoted in the agency. It took two years, however, for her to achieve permanent status in that position. Vaughn remained with NASA for the next 28 years in various positions until her retirement in 1971. St. Paul in research in the new, in Newport News, Virginia, honored her for being a member of over 50 years where she was involved in missionary work and in the church ministry, church's music ministry. She was also a benefactor to the Phyllis Whitley YWCA in Washington, D.C., and a member of their Silver Bells organization. Vaughn died of natural causes at the age of 98 on November 10, 2008, in her hometown of Hampton, Virginia. She is survived by four children, 10 grandchildren, and 14 great grandchildren. In 2016, Vaughn was featured in the film Hidden Figures, which stars Taraji P. Henson, Octavia Spencer, and Janelle Monet. The 
Bill focuses on three African Americans at NASA who calculated flight trajectories for Project Mercury and Apollo 11 in the 1960s. In doing so, it documented the careers and contributions of Catherine Johnson, Mary Winston Jackson, and Vaughn, who was portrayed by Octavia Spencer in the film. Amen. 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 Let's give God some praise. Thank you. Amen. We want to, to acknowledge as well uh, those who contributed to this article. Accreditation is there. Um, you know, it's fascinating how much truth has been hidden. It's well said from us. It's just Absolutely. And it's good that we take the time to just uh, uncover the truths that are there. And they, you know, there used to be a reason that we didn't have access to now with the immigration of social media and the internet. All you have to do is take the time to find out just about anything you want to do. What's that? We we land in the beginning so that you can keep alive early. Amen. And try to build a little portfolio. And it's so beautiful. We thank uh, the advice of, of Sister Elaine. Uh, for this particular person. And any of you have anyone in particular that you'd like to do some research on, uh, we can feature on one of our segments, second and fourth Sunday, just come to let me know. And we're going to do this throughout the year. And you're going to be more than just February, by the way. Hello, somebody. All right? Okay, so I'm going to come up into the court and do this. Amen. I respect for the person whom I'm going to introduce in the absence of Pastor Jackson. Uh, who will be here? We're not on vacation. He may be people who wouldn't want us to go be on your toes. <laughs> yeah. We're going to ask uh, um, to prepare herself, uh, Reverend Amy, to prepare herself for this election for our sermon that's coming today. Amen. Uh, some, some years ago, I don't know how many years it's been. How many years has it been? All right, we don't even know. <laughs> Amen. We have traversed through some miles. Uh, this young lady. And join yourself to this house. Amen. And we thank God that over the years we have seen her grow. We've seen her become strong. We've seen her branch out. We've seen God manifest Himself in her life. Amen. Uh, one of the most outstanding characteristics about herself and her husband is the affinity of love that they have for their children and their grandchildren. Amen. Another Nicole that you used to see here with us all the time is a result of this love that God had planned in their hearts to take care of their offspring. Amen. And that's just a reflection of who people are by what they do. It says, uh, said, the old folks say, a tree is known by the fruit that it bears. This young man, a little cashmere, and much is here too. That's the one he, I call him little Rachi. I don't know he looks like he, he's on the piano. He, uh, uh, Minister Sanari, when he's on the keyboard over here, he's playing something. And he is smiling and grinning. He is happy as he want to be. And that has to come from a home background well, where there's joy. Am I talking right? See, children show you where they come from. They show you what's in their environment. At that age, they do. Now, later on, they may go a different way, but at that age, they're going to show you exactly what's going on. So it's the, it's the site of a home where there's love and happiness. So, it is my pleasure and privilege to bring before you one who's unique in our own style, the methodology of the world to do. Amen. But we thank you for having her here. So after this selection, I want you to put your hands together to see, amen, the evangelist Jennifer Jackson from the God of Life Baptist Church.
come together and it branches out. Amen? So again, my topic is get connected to the power. They are different types <coughs> of power. But for today, I want to keep it spiritual and just talk about power. Power in the name of Jesus. Because after that, this high type of power is used to get God's glory. God's authority means his type of power comes from the Holy Ghost. Because Acts 1 and 8 said, you shall receive power. Mm -hmm. That's the Holy Spirit. Spiritual power. Yes. The inner strength that comes by meditation, by reading his word, by being people that's like-minded. That's how you plug in. That's how you get connected to Jesus, which is the power source. And then you with me? Mm -hmm. Did it talk back? <laughs> All right. Also, mm -hmm. this power lets you stand strong for the things of God, Acts 2 and 4. Mm -hmm. Jesus gives his teaching and mm -hmm. has given us the authority to carry out for the purposes of God and advancing his kingdom. Right. So he's given us the power to go out and minister to everyone, to tell people, Amen. to tell people about the way to sin and death, mm -hmm. and tell them how they can gain eternal life. They have to go, we have to go out and just ignite, just set it right. Some people may know it, but some people have to be reminded. And sometimes, you know, your power got to be rekindled. So you rekindle in your body is when you plug in back into the main source of where your power comes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. When we have that power, we can do all things with this Amen. power. Amen. It gives mm -hmm. us holy boldness. It gives us the ability to go out. You know, God has not given us the spirit of fear because the word of God is powerful. It right. lies in the truth when we proclaim it. Mm -hmm. The scriptures that alone is power because it's inspired as God breathed in it for us to be useful in our teaching and mm -hmm. our training and yes. our guiding. It is also a powerful tool if we use it mm -hmm. to reprove, to convict, mm -hmm. and to rebuke. Mm -hmm. That's when we plug it in to our source of energy, mm -hmm. our power flow. Amen. Well, Sometimes when we look at our battery on our phones, it gets to they get to the yellow part, yeah. and then after get to the yellow part, we go running because soon we're gonna get to the red part, <laughs> and then when we get to the red, uh oh, we gotta plug it in. So mm -hmm. let's plug in our cord and let's use our cord and tap into some prayer, yeah, some fasting, yes, some yeah. meditation, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some spreading His word, yes, sir. So yes, sir. just being with. That's how our power surge Amen. comes from. Amen. 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 I'm going to break it down so everyone can understand. Amen. As we go out and spreading God's word to different people, because the word has to be for out to everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay. This type of power is Jesus. Amen. 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 That power is Jesus. Jesus is that source of That's energy, right. that power surge, that, and then the song, some um, songs go, somebody catch on fire, catch on fire, and burn with the Holy Ghost, because I'm not going to say that. That's right. right. But That's a song. Mm -hmm. Power and power, you know, there's power in the blood. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 It is one Amen. working power That's in right. the blood. Amen. We say it all the time. Mm -hmm. But again, I'm talking about get connected. Mm -hmm. Do you know when we have spiritual power, that's inner strength. And it comes from the indwelling of the Holy Ghost. Could you imagine the day on Pentecost when we're all in one place that is worshiping God? And we're just the fire just going, and we're praising God, and the tongue is going forth, and 
you're on fire, you're on fire. So when anybody comes in to sow seeds and school, they're going to get burnt up in the fire. No, right because now. in that fire, you know, there's so much that happens when we all on one accord. You know yeah, what, yeah. what happens in it? Because when we all on one accord, the thing that we, we get confused. Yeah, yeah. Because when you know, we are in his word and we are reading and we meditate, we get strength and we get stronger. Amen. 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 And once we get stronger, you know the devil can't take that because no, it's the sound. It's the sound that we're, we're bringing forth this word. There's the sound when we're speaking to our Father. There's the sound that the devil just can't take because you know what? There's one word that when we call it, yeah. everything <laughs> happens for its objection. Right. When we say there's one word, something has to happen. When we say that one word, something has to break, Amen. something has to move, That's somebody right. has to be delivered, right. healed, saved, set free, everything has to happen. Amen. Amen. And y'all want to know what that name is? <laughs> Jesus. And we can't say, we, we got to be bold because that power gives us right. to be bold. Amen. Because God can't use no power. So, right. so okay. we want something. From my problem, don't we scream it? Yes. And don't we want to be put on the top of the line? Right. Yes. So yes. when we hear that, when we plug into that power surge and we're in our right. lowest point, and we say, Jesus, don't you get that burst of energy? That's right. And it gives you that energy that you can conquer everything. Yes. That you're ready for the next task. Yes. You're Amen. ready for the next trial. You're mm -hmm. ready for the next tribulation. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. There's no yawning. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to get too far, too fast. Well, when we talk about fire mm -hmm. and we talk about power, it goes in hand in hand. Right. Power can be many things. I mean, it gives you boldness. How many want that boldness that they could just march? Because you know you being outside so much is happening and you know how Jesus, he just spoke it in things. Couldn't you have to open up your mouth with the Holy Ghost and he give you the words and say, well sometimes when you open your mouth, you get to be timid and we say, but God is faith, look at their face and God, they're not going to see me. God, I'm going to pray. But you know, he gave us everything that we live in. He gave us our tools to fight because this is the army. This is a war. So when we get our body, we got our helmets on. We got our shield, our breastplate, our knees. And we are marching. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we are marching to conquer. We are marching to take back everything the devil thought he took from us. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. When Jesus calls us, he's given us the authority to do work in this ministry. How many of this a lot of work to be Amen. done in this ministry? Amen. Mm -hmm. Power is the Holy Spirit that brings on peace, warmth, calmness, and love. Mm -hmm. Again, plug into the power source and activate God's power in our body and in our lives. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you think of power, you think of authority, you think of yes, being sir. in control. Some people want to flex their muscles because they're like, oh, I got this one over me, or I got the floor now, or you can't say nothing, or you can't move, or I move. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's not the power yeah, that right. we're talking about. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the power that Jesus has oh, given to yeah. us because Jesus said that he knew that. We can do all things. Yes, my Lord. Yep. Amen. He will not put no more on us that he is there. Yep. He supplies everything. Yep. We mm -hmm. just have to go out and tell people about what have you done for me lately. That's what Janet Jackson said, right? Or you can ask yep. yourself, what did Jesus do for you lately? What mm -hmm. did he do for you today? Amen. We're all sitting here. Amen. So we've done a lot already. You see what time it is. And you're still here. You're still among the man. Amen. 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 We should want the power. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Mm -hmm. The power to act right. 
Mm -hmm. They have the power to do right. They have the power to know right. They have the power to love right. They have the power that power, mm -hmm. so we need to tap into that power. We want that power that gives us peace that passes all understanding. All understanding. We Amen. want the power that gives us the boldness to quote those scriptures say, I am healed, mm -hmm. I am delivered, I mm -hmm. am set free. I speak to yourself, speak to your mm -hmm. enemy. Amen. Speak and say, so you can't go out and speak to no one else unless you know it for yourself. Amen. Amen. We want the power to talk right. We Amen. have the power to live right. Mm -hmm. Jesus gave us this ultimate power. So we have a right to flex when we have this power. Because you know what? I have this power that I can flex and tell you about my father. Uh -huh. To tell you about Jesus. To tell you how Jesus died for you. To tell you that Jesus loves you. To tell you that how Jesus cared for you. That there's nothing that he will not give you. Jesus gives you the ultimate power. Amen? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm. There's a, um, a movie that called Juice After Everything Went In, and when he switched places, he was like, I got the power now, or I got the juice now, and the games, they think they got the power. You know, you know that ain't nothing. Could you imagine standing here and you pulling your script and somebody coming at you? And you speak, and you can do like the major, because there's no weapon or form against you shall prosper. There's nothing no one can do to you that Jesus cannot protect you from. Mm -hmm. Jesus can do all things. All you have to do is tap into that power plug. All you got to do is tap into that power surge. The only thing you got to do is tap into your brother and your sister. Their energy is on yellow or red. Reach out and just zap them. Do you know how they have these uh -huh. little sting things that you would zap a person with? <laughs> Could you imagine just coming in the church and you sitting and not doing something and someone zap you and you just jerk? Because you need that extra power. Could you imagine you just walk in and you just sit and not doing nothing after everything he's done for us, everything mm -hmm. he do for us, how he provides for us, and we still sit? Hey, don't you think he want to just zap, zap, just walk around and <laughs> yeah. you know, zap, you do know, that, what not? You know, we, we take little things so lightly, but mm -hmm. in my conclusion, mm -hmm. let's go and get some more power. If you don't want the red or the yellow, you know you can plug into that set power surge and get a full battery. And once you get that full battery, you gotta fill that battery up with prayer. Amen. And prayer. And more prayer. And tears. And more tears. And fasting. And crying. And meditating. And sacrifice. And yes, so sometimes when you doing all this, when you have to sacrifice. Me and my son was talking yesterday on the way home, mm -hmm. and we was talking about fasting. And we all were thinking that fasting, you have to give up food. But uh -huh. fasting is giving up something that you do every day faithful, because it's a sacrifice. If you like, like me, I love shopping. If I like shopping, then I'm going to say I'm going to not stop for seven days. Okay? That's something that you got to do. That's the big thing. But you know what? God will fill you up because just by giving up something. Yeah. Sometimes we have to give up a lot of time. Sometimes it's not always about food. It's true. about the little thing. That's food. true. So when we're looking into stuff and we're doing something, we have to pay attention because we say stuff because we were born of you were taught them. But we have to really realize that if we're going to do this, well, this is a sacrifice because you know what Jesus did it? And he did it for us, and we're still not getting the message. We done had an armistice. We done had an earthquake. We done had the eclipse. What more are we going to take before we actually wake up and be like Jesus? I mean, what if he cracked the side in the next 30 minutes? What are you going to do? What are we going to say when our life back behind it? Was it me? Well, he got you alive and living. Just make up in your mind that you know what God, I need more of you. Amen. 
got some praise.
I had a job sitting down. See, just folk got on my nerves, but I was sitting down, so I didn't have a lot of stuff. I'm grateful for that every day. For all those years. Amen. Uh, and I praise him for that. So I want to thank God for everyone that's here once again as we close, come to the close of our service to our musicians. Let's give our I'm telling you, Facebook, YouTube, we have the best musicians. That's true. That's true. They are going to have it. Yes, they are. We show the love. Excellent. Excellent. What's that now? Can I say something about Just give me one second. Sure. I'm going to certainly allow you to, because you ain't going to hear in a minute. So you're going to probably hear this music in a minute, unless you've been on Facebook. So I know you're going to It's it. about that exact subject. Okay, just hold on for a second. Because I lose my train of thought. That's what I'm saying. I'm a senior citizen. So I get derailed, and that's the end of it. I want to thank the ushers, my wife, Sister Hurley, for, for helping me assist me on the road as well as Sister McIntosh. And then uh, I want to thank um, all of you, all of our ministerial staff, all parts of the Ecclesiastic body, for evangelist uh, Lighty, for man in the pulpit today. Thank you so much for seeing to our preacher today. Amen. We praise God for you. Okay, so to all of you, thank you from the depths of my heart. Amen. For all that you do, I see all the uh, Williams, and Williams is in, from uh, Rivers Tabernacle uh, as well. Amen. Gospel soul savers. Amen. Full of soul. And then to our brother Xavier, thank you. How's your mom doing, Xavier? So and so, right? All right, we'll talk later. <laughs> Amen to all of you. Uh, this is the Tawani Nine Fellowship Outreach Ministries is represented here. To our general, our brother here that came in with John, who was moved from the back of the church. Oh, I'll never forget this day. I mean, he just came in and walked all the way. Oh, he didn't even stop. Brother, you gotta keep on coming. So, you know, he ain't been up here, I don't, never. <laughs> so thank you so much to all of you, Sister Lane, all of you, Sister Mother Green, uh, uh, Sister Beckwith, a uh, shout out. Douglas, God bless you, man. You're always welcome. We're happy to have you. Come back and be with us. Our elder man as well. Amen to our Deacon Smalls uh, and, and um, Sister Barbara. We keep them in our prayers. Deacon Smalls is sometimes up, sometimes down. He's going through some difficult times right now. Just keep them in your prayers. Amen. Amen. Beautiful spirit. Sure, no we just bless God for him. So without further ado, we're going to hear from Minister Sanabria. And after that, we're going to render service back into the hands of our preacher for today, Evangelist Jackson. Come on, Sanabria, talk to us. Hello. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, Pastor. Thank you for your patience and indulgence, everyone. Um, my dear friend Douglas is both deaf and mute. So on behalf of him, knowing he doesn't have a voice to say thank you all. And especially to the musicians, because even though he said he's not completely without hearing, so he couldn't hear. Especially our brother on the bass and our brother on the drums. Thank you. It's not like him to dance or to enjoy music. Well, he was over to dance. Always do. He was able to enjoy music. Thank you, Mr. Sinatra. Brother Douglas is on the beat. <laughs> I'm watching it. Yeah, I'm clapping. You can hear it, bro. So, it's, see what, what it is with music is vibration. I'm telling you, uh -huh. a lot of folks don't realize music creates a certain vibration. Yes, it does. That you can feel. Yeah. Even though you might not always be able to hear, when it wafts through the air, there's a feel of the vibration of the music, especially when it's anointed. We thank God for the anointing. We're going to see you again real soon. Thank right? you. Yeah. Please receive the members of Jennifer Jackson with our final remarks as we recess for the day. Amen. For the deep. <laughs> Amen.
Amen.